The whole exhibition, Mary, is basically about the character Mary, but she's also my mother. And my mother is suffering from a condition, and it's an ailment as such that affects lots of people. So um, I think the, the idea behind the work was to try and document the change in the person and produce a body of work that maybe reflected the condition, this hidden element that could be part of anyone going. You know. So that was the inspiration behind bringing the body of work together. What do you hope tonight to bring to people? Um, what I've tried to capture in the photography is uh, that, can, that sort of hidden element, that thing that's maybe recognisable now that you never really see. It's quite difficult to achieve that in a, a photograph, but I think what I would like people to take from the, the, the show tonight is to maybe relate to Mary as someone that's recognisable, someone that looks familiar, you know, um, and see there's, uh, within the show there's points of uh, hilarity and fun and there's points of quite poignant moments. And I think it's uh, a celebration of Mary but also a reflection on the fact that memories are fading and you know, it's how we all relate to memories uh, and how it centres us in our own life cycle. So. I've picked up on the Scots language that I'm just, uh, like with the Scots. Uh, yeah, um, that's my friend Andrew, Andrew Thompson, he's, he's at the show tonight, you can speak to him. Um, he, uh, he's known my mother a long time, so I asked him, he's a poet, and I asked him if he would write a piece of poetry. Uh, so he, he writes in the Scots tongue. And uh, from that, he, he wrote one or two pieces. And, uh, so it was only rightly that we show some of his work as part of the exhibition, and uh, just celebrate his writing. Has this been the first time you've been such a personal influence? I've tried to step back from it. Uh, I recognise my mother, but I look at the body of work from an artistic point of view. Where, um, she's a subject matter, and uh, I'm trying to get at the real crux of what the connection is here with memory and the loss of memory. So um, I've managed to detach myself, I would say, from uh, the mother son relationship. You know. Hopefully, anyway. Although she probably sees it differently, I would imagine. How did you get involved with the project? Douglas, my best friend, I've known him since I was 12, and he asked me if I would do some writing. He felt he didn't want to take ownership of the writing part, and concentrate on the photography, and I was happy to oblige him. I couldn't refuse him because he's my best friend. Um, I did find it difficult because it's the first time I've written about a specific subject on request. I normally get an idea or a witness a something happened in a local bus shelter or whatever and I just run with that idea so it was a good exercise for me. I've known me for well, I'm 52 this year so I've known him since I was 12 and it's been 40 years you know and um, I've always been an admirer of uh, Douglas's work. He's one of these guys that everything he does seems to do really well where I, str I struggle sometimes a bit I mean my writing, this is a, a fairly newfound uh, pastime, you know. Initially I started writing to cope with stress at work and I found that if I came from work and I did a particular bad day, I could use the mood of the day and I would just write. I would just write and put it away and maybe let some time pass, a couple of weeks later pick it up and then you're in a more objective frame of mind and you rework it and my initial attempts in English I was bitterly disappointed and when I started translating it into Old Scots I found it just took on a new life. I'm very passionate about using our mother tongue. I think it's very much in danger of becoming a lost language and 
the four pieces I've written about me, I've used a lot of words that go right back to 13th and 14th century. So I think it's the most Scottish thing we have. very different. We haven't had an exhibition like this in Five Space before. Um, when Dickie told me what he was doing, I thought it was going to be very traditional framed photography. And um, I think that the way that he's presented it in the town, it's distress, there's a collage, they're, they're overlapping. It says a lot about the subject that he's trying to portray. And um, I think it's, it's good in that also it's very different from any exhibition we've had in Five Space before. So we're able to offer a real variety to people that are, are visiting. Thank you.